Hi, good afternoon, it's Matt here at Hudson Specialist Cars. Here we have a walk around video of our stunning 2010 Renault Sport Clio RS200. Do my best just to walk you around it, try and demonstrate a few of the highlights. So firstly, it's uh, finished in Nimbus Metallic, quite a rare colour and uh, kind of a, like a liquid metal colour. Not quite silver, not quite grey, somewhere in between. Got a fantastic spec and uh, it's a few modifications along the way which I'll try and highlight. So firstly, it is a full fat car, so you get things like auto lights, auto wipers, cruise control and so forth. But it does have the optional cup chassis with the red four-pot Brembo brake calipers, quicker steering rack. But as you may see from the way it's sat, it does have a set of KW uh, V3 coilovers. Sits lovely on these uh, Speedline Racer alloys. It's worth noting these are actually the 8J alloy uh, from the Cup cars, so slightly wider, half an inch wider than the 7.5s. Um, so it has a great stance about it. Worth noting it's, uh, it's on Michelin Pilot Sport 5 tyres. We've got upgraded brakes, EBC discs, and yellow stuff pads. Some, some great stopping power, as well as a stutton nut uh, conversion, and on 19 mil spacers as well. So yeah, the coilover is all set up uh, by Track Talk, quite a local specialist to us, um, all aligned and so forth, and geoed to suit. So it does drive superbly well. Exhaust, actually a standard exhaust on this car. Uh, it does have a Toy Sport manifold, as uh, that was replaced in its history. Working our way inside. Got a set of the uh, lovely yellow dot CS Recaro seats. They're in great condition for its age and mileage. And uh, these are very supportive, very comfortable. Then up front, you've got your anthracite kind of gray interior pack. Things like keyless sort of go and things. Um, lovely six speed manual box. It's also worth noting, previous owner replaced the seat belts with some brand new yellow ones to, to match. Work really nicely. I'll just spin round to the driver's side. So you've got a rear wiper delete back there. And then up front, an Alcantara retrim steering wheel with a kind of silver 12 o'clock marker. Driver's seat. No rips or tears, ever so slight little bit of wear starting, but uh, like I say, in good order, considering the car has now done 98,000 miles. Finally, it's worth noting that, uh, I'll show you under the bonnet actually, because uh, I want to show you some of the other upgrades to the car. So uh, it has been to RS Tuning over in Leeds, a very uh, renowned Renault Sport Specialist. And once fitted with this, uh, it's got a KTR induction. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh, easy said than done. There we go. Just about. Yeah, you've got KTR induction, uh, Toyo Sport manifold, but it does have just a standard catback exhaust. Previous owner didn't like uh, the drone or the loudness of the standard, uh, the uh, sort of options of Scorpion and so forth. But uh, as you see under here, you've got a Powerflex uh, polybushed. Uh, top and bottom engine mount. You've also got uh, a polybrush gearbox mount and the bottom arms have been done as well. So quite a stiff, firm setup. Fantastic uh, for track. And uh, as you can see, the coilovers under here, the top mounts are fully adjustable. You've got ride height adjustment as well. Um, just to give you some idea, the KWs fitted to this car, they were fitted about a year ago only. Uh, and they cost the previous owner about two and a half thousand pounds in plus uh, about a thousand pounds to have them fitted and all set up by track talk that is all documented with a receipt as well and uh, yeah just final note it has been to RS tuning over in Leeds uh, for a custom map because uh, these cars have a notorious uh, flat spot between two and three thousand. The uh, wizards at RS Tuning are able to tune that out, so it does drive superbly well. It does have a dyno printout as well. But there we have it. Hope this uh, gives you a slightly better impression of it. Um, 
a fantastic sort of track focused uh, but also a fantastic road car as well the coilovers i must say having driven this car now on road uh, they actually provide me a better ride comfort uh, than even the standard cup shocks but uh, if you have any further questions of course please let us know and thanks again for watching cheers